It's Tuesday, November the 6th, November the 5th, 2011, and class is in session. So, you know, I'm sitting here in the kitchen making cheese quesadillas for my kids, and you know, basically it's something very simple. You know, you have a tortilla, you have some cheese, and you have a nice hot oven, you know, and you start heating. You know, you start, you just basically throw this on, put the cheese in there. And you know you're good to go. You wait a few minutes, wait for the cheese to melt, and you're good to go. Now, what if life were just that simple? What if it was just it came in a two-step process, you know, or three steps, or however any process it is of cheese, you know? Get ingredients, warm oven to a certain degree of temperature, put on first tortilla chip shell, put on the cheese, put on the second chip, second tortilla ch shell. Heat, flip, heat the other side, remove, and enjoy. But we oftentimes make life complicated. We oftentimes add more to our daily lives. You know, I could sit here and put lettuce, tomatoes, uh, meat. You know, we could start adding more and more into our, into uh, adding more ingredients to our meal. And, that's, and it tends to get more complicated or overcomplicated because you know what happens, you know, just like with a taco, you start adding more stuff into it, then it starts getting sloppy, it starts getting messy, stuff starts falling off to the sides, and you're trying to scoop everything up and try and get it back in. But that's how we do life. We add more and more to it, trying to make it better when we should just keep it simple. Sometimes keeping it simple is the best way to go. <laughs> But why am I sharing that with you today? Well, I'm sharing that with you because, you know, on the 33 years that I've walked this walk the earth, you know, there are many times that I've overcomplicated things. I've overthought things, and, and that's just my nature. I'm a, I'm a thinker. I tend to overthink, overanalyze a lot of decisions that I make in life. Um, and it's only in my coming to the knowledge of Christ, the saving knowledge of God, that I've actually been able to mellow out in a lot of the things that I do. Um, I'm able to enjoy life a little bit better. Why? Because I'm not overthinking. I'm not overanalyzing things. And I'm just keeping it simple. I just got my two ingredients. Tortilla shells and cheese. Plain and simple. I'm sharing this with you today because I hope that whatever you're going through right now, that you're not overthinking it. God says, cast your cares on to me. Why? Because I care for you. He says, your burdens are light. He says, your, for your, he even said, you know, he, he says our, our afflictions are light. So if our afflictions are weak, but we tend to make them a whole lot more complicated and heavier than they should be. So my encouragement to you is that whatever you're going through right now, don't make it, don't overcomplicate things. Don't try and think too hard about it. Cast your cares onto God. Say, God, this situation is just bigger than I, just bigger than me. But I know it's not bigger than you. And if you can do that, if you can trust God, lean not to your own understanding, trust God with the desires of your heart, uh, trust God and he will give you the desires of your heart. If you can do that, you will live a much simpler life. And it will taste so good. It says, it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Come on now. So I promise you, keep life simple. Let God do all the hard work. He says he's clothed all the birds in the, he's put the birds in the sky and he's clothed the field grass in the fields. Surely how much more will he do for you? That's my encouragement for you. It is Tuesday, August the 5th, excuse me, Tuesday, November the 5th, 2013. Class dismissed.